Hello and welcome to today's video where I will be showing you the simple solution to solve 90% of the problem behaviors you are having with your dog today. But before we get into this video, I want to take a quick second to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about who I am and a little bit about what this training is going to be. My name is Zechariah Matson. I am a dog trainer. I help dog owners go from feeling burnt out and frustrated to then giving them the ability and confidence to take control of their dogs and regain the life that they have with their canine companions. This video and uh, this video series is going to be a series that's going to help you dramatically improve the relationship you have and is going to help solve 90% of the problem behaviors that you have with your dog. It's going to be a four part Part video series. This is video one of four parts. video series we're going to be exploring why dogs display problem behaviors specifically 90% of problem behaviors that a dog displays in relationship to you and the relationship you share with your dog and how we can solve that and that is what these videos are going to be addressing so 90% and the reason why I say that this is going to solve 90% of the problems that you have with your dog is because 90% of problems that we have with our dogs on a daily basis comes down to one simple thing. One thing causes 90% of these problems and that is a lack or no, so a lack or no of communication. Uh, so either you're lacking in communication or you have absolutely zero communication with your dog. Most owners, they have some form of communication, uh, but they're really just lacking in a lot of communication. And that lack of communication, this right here, this one thing, contributes to 90% of the problems you are dealing with on a daily basis with your dog. So what I'm going to be teaching in this video as well as the other videos in this series is how to fix this lack of communication and thus eliminate 90% of the problems that you and your dog are struggling with right now. So the solution is a really simple solution. It's really easy. Um, it, it's actually so easy for you to accomplish this solution that your grandmother could do it. Okay, that is how easy it is to uh, create the solution, this lack of communication, in order to solve 90% of these problems. And that solution is to create what we call, as dog trainers, we call this a marker system. You're probably wondering, what is that? What is a marker system, right? Uh, the first time I heard of a marker system before I became a dog trainer, I was like, that's really confusing. What does that mean? A marker system, to break it down to you in a simple term, it is like creating a language between you and your dog that you both can understand. It's a system that you've agreed upon, a language that you've agreed upon, that helps to clear up this communication. And it will help to solve that communication you have with your dog. Now, dogs, they're a completely different species from us, right? As humans, we rely on our, on verbal means of communication with one another on a daily basis, but dogs, they don't speak English, right? They don't understand the verbal communication we are trying to teach them. So a marker system, and once you teach this marker system to your dog, right, it's going to create a language between you and the dog that 
you both understand that's going to increase the relationship you have with them, increase your ability to teach them obedience, increase your ability to tell them when they're doing something wrong, bad, or naughty in order to reduce that behavior in the future. And again, this by doing this, this simple marker system, by teaching it effectively, like I will show you in the next few videos in this series, you are going to be able to solve 90% of the problems you're experiencing with your dog. Right. So again, it's, it's a language. That's all it is. It's just a language between you and your dog that you can read upon. Right. So imagine your dog, right? Imagine you went to a, a foreign country. Let's say you landed in Germany and you're from England, right? You from England, you speak English. Then you go to Germany and then they speak German. You don't know how to communicate. You don't know the language. So you need to learn a few things, right? And when you start to learn and understand and pick up the language, things begin to get clearer and you can then communicate and go about in that other country a lot better. Well, imagine your dog, right? A lot of times they're being disobedient or naughty or displaying, again, 90% of these problem behaviors. It's because they are in a foreign country and they don't understand the language you are speaking to them. So when you have an interpreter or you learn the language and, and create a marker system, you solve those problems. So to give you an example, right? One of the things that we'll learn in a marker system is to let the dog know when they're doing something good, right? So imagine, right? So a marker system, once, once it's taught, you can let the dog know, let the thumb know what is good, right? So, if your dog does something that you like, let's say it's a sit or a down, some obedience command, or maybe they recall to you when they're out in an open field, the marker system is what you use to communicate back to the dog, right? In a marker system, mind you, a marker system is not obedience, right? Obedience is a completely different thing. A marker system is feedback. Right, is what lets the dog know what behaviors they do is the right behavior or wrong behavior. Obedience is when we want to let the dog know what they need to do in the future. Right. Um, so obedience is a lot different from a marker system. Do not get these two things confused. A lot of people, they, they think they're one and the same. They are not. A marker system is feedback. Right. It is feedback to the dog. So the marker lets the dog know if they're doing a recall, they come back to you, lets them know what is good, what they did good in that moment, right? Um, so it's very useful if you want to reward and reinforce behaviors, having a marker system is great, right? But again, that's, that's not really dealing with 90% of the problem behaviors that you have because that's probably dealing with things like you don't want your dog digging in the trash or chasing the cat things of that nature, which a marker system can be used to let the dog know what is good, but we can also use the marker system to let them know what is bad. Now, how many people have probably seen your dog do something like digging in the trash, for example, we'll use that example. Right, your dog's digging in the trash, right? So here's a little trash can, right? Forgive my horrible drawing of a trash can, right? And then here's your dog. And he's going in the trash can. Uh, he's got a really big front leg. Um, let's fix that, right? <laughs> That's a really horrible dog. Okay, again, forgive my drawing. So he's going in the trash can, right? So the marker system lets you be able to tell the dog if that is acceptable or not acceptable. So imagine if your dog's going in the trash can here and you just say no, right? Most people, if they have not taught a marker system to the dog, they say no and the dog ignores them. The dog continues to go in because the dog doesn't understand the language, right? They don't understand the feedback. They've never been taught it, right? So when we teach a marker system to our dogs, 
you will basically have the ability, and a lot of people get amazed by this, you say no, and your dog immediately turns away and runs away from the trash can. Imagine if you had that ability, if your dog was digging in the trash can, chasing after the cat, barking at the neighbor's dog, whatever the case may be, and you said no, not yelling at them, but a firm, controlled voice, no, and your dog stopped. That would be like, like magic, right? But that's that's something all my dogs and all the dogs that, of my clients that I train, they all are taught this marker system that gives the dog feedback and lets the dog know, oh shoot, you don't want me doing that? You don't want me in the trash can? Okay, cool, right? Because we've taught it to the dog. So this marker system that I will be teaching in the next few videos and exactly how to do it and how to teach the marker system to your dog, it's again, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's not obedience. Don't get it confused with obedience. It's completely different. But it will solve 90% of the problem behaviors you are dealing with your dog. A lot of my clients, I don't even teach obedience for the most part. I focus on the marker system. I focus on a really good communication system between the owner and the dog, and it solves most of the problems that we have with the dog. There's a few exceptions, right? Like 10% of the time, you need to overlay some kind of obedience in order to solve the behavior problems of the dog, but 90% of the time, your problems that you're struggling with your dog can be solved through a marker system by creating communication and letting your dog know what is good, and then also letting them know what is bad, having that ability to, when they're doing something bad, like going to the trash can, tell them no and they will stop. So make sure to watch the next video in the series. It's gonna be right here. In it, I'm going to go over some key definitions that you need to know before you begin training your dog and teaching your dog a marker system and teaching them this language that you can communicate with one another. So make sure to check that video out. It's gonna pop up right here. Have a good one.